Are we? Are we? Word was gonna roll on. Okay. Uh, hey, headphone sunshine. warning. <laughs> <laughs> we should actually probably. Uh, I'm doing the castle. We're playing Mario Three. I have a fire Who suit. Are you? I am a dinosaur in a human body suit. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Suddenly, so much of my life makes sense. It explains. Um, I have so a cloaca. <laughs> It's oh. a dream of mine to have a cloaca. Know. Just one hole for it all. Sweetheart, you're a man. So. I have two. Kind of. You're, I mean, you're closer to it than I am. That's true. So. There. It still doesn't seem like a cloaca to me. <gasps> I spilled my drink. No, you're like, damn this finger. <laughs> damn it! Can't I poo out my wee? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, there's the title of the episode. I hope I listen this far in for uh, it. No! Uh, what is it? Would it would come out stringy. To do? It would come out stringy like a fish. <laughs> right? You're grossing me out, pig. Oh. Um, I'm Calamity, by the way. I don't think I got that out. In oh. all the screaming. On this episode, I will show that I am the great... What the fuck? <laughs> Why did I bounce there? Did you see the I bounce? Saw that. I saw the bounce. This game Ooh. is best. We should play Mario 64 and watch me get really um, mad. I did buy a new bottle of Dramamine, so... I would get so mad. I... I, so I you just wagged your finger like an angry gay man. I love it. So, I'm gonna There's be honest. There's a reasoning for that. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, everybody. I don't think 3D platformers work. And I understand one of my favorite games of all time is Banjo Kazooie. What are you supposed to do? You jump. <laughs> what are you supposed to do? I don't know what do? I'm doing with my life. <laughs> and I'm starting to really question it. I just remembered it's a Sunday night and I peed myself out. Aww. I don't want to go to work tomorrow. It's a Sunday night. Oh, man, you know what? This is the first Sunday in weeks that you haven't had anything to look forward to. You don't have Westworld to watch when we get it done. <laughs> you just threw the controller <laughs> at me. I'm sorry I had uh, to lay some truth on you. Westworld is over. It is. Except for, like, whatever, they're going to make season three. If they are. Have they no, it it's not confirmed, but the way they leave it open-ended, I wouldn't imagine they're, they're not going to. Um... Never mind, Wes. No. Now, um, what do you think of the finale? I don't know. I kind of liked it. I also, I definitely have the opinion that the first season was far superior. Yeah. But honestly, I don't think they could do. You can't really recapture the mystery. You, because you we're can't. In the well, world. we know what's going on. Well, and, and the fact that I think the first season was near perfect. Yeah. So once you you're at that point, at least to me, you can't really come back. It's gonna. You don't go up from perfection. Yeah. If you're in the 99th percentile, you can't really reach 100. No, it, it's not possible. Anyone who thinks you can, no. Uh, <laughs> it's like Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones used to be like really good. Now it, it's just degrading because that's the, the way it has to go. Yeah. Maybe this last season will be really good. We don't know. but uh, I don't know if I have the patience to wait for it. I mean, I'll wait and watch you it. You don't really it have much of a choice. I'll watch it when it comes out, but I'm not gung-ho about even seeing it. I like that you totally called my bluff this week. I was like, if the person I want to win Drag Race doesn't win Drag Race, I'm going to think really hard about whether or not I buy the next season on Amazon. And you're like, bitch, you will not. <laughs> you will not think twice. And you were right. Although the person I wanted to win won, so I guess it doesn't matter. Because this was a Team Aquaria household. Was it? Uh, you don't like Eureka O'Hara, and I don't think you cared about either of the other two. I just don't think 
so easily, mm-hmm. I am a comedy queen. I don't really like any of the others. Mm-hmm. Um, but I do expect, you know, I have high, high standards. Yeah. You have some pretty, like, sharp fashion sense, too. Which I think you're yeah. particular. Um, Every time you do a critique on the runway, Michelle Visage would turn around and say the same thing. Uh, so maybe you're just the mean judge at heart. I just don't think there's been a really funny queen queen in a while. Your love has always gone out to Bianca Del Rio. No, so. not necessarily. Trixie? Uh, Trixie's funny. Not all the time. You, uh, you uh, prefer Trixie off Drag Race, though. You yes. Think that she's funnier yes. on. Uh, well, same goes with, but I, I count that. Like uh, Katya is the oh, same way. I, I didn't think Katya was that funny in her first season, but I did in this, uh, her All Star season. I mean, yeah. well, then you have like Alaska, who's I think is hilarious. Yes. Uh, I just I don't know. Even shit. What was her name? Was pretty much down to win season two of All Stars. Oh, Alaska won season two of All Stars. No, season three, I mean. Uh, Bindle the Crown? Yeah. She was also really funny with the, the banana thing and yeah. and all that shit. It was pretty funny. And uh, Shangela was funny, too. Yeah, they were funny. It's just. I don't know. You prefer. I actually want to laugh. I don't want to be like, huh. I don't be like, oh, that was a smart joke. You I don't make smart jokes. Like Aquarius Melania Trump in front of you and go over the hall. I mean, Melania Trump herself though is hilarious. Hilarious. So it's, it's not, but in that same way that Aquarius is funny, which is on accident. <laughs> uh, yeah. But which I thought was smart. She played to her strengths as a bitch. Uh. So yeah, I enjoyed that, I guess, but um. I can't think of another time in the season that I, I laughed. People thought the, the baby thing was hilarious you with Eureka. No, walking out nude and going, that's not, that's not funny. It's not. At least I don't think it is. If you think it's funny, well, I'm happy for you. I don't know. Probably. Maybe. I found it annoying. And loud for no reason. Where's my skin armor? Good job. Yeah, I know. Thanks for that. You thought that the uh, Adriel O'Hara's face in the Butterface challenge was funny? The first time. The first time. I don't think I'd watch it again and be like, ah, it's funny. Yeah. Which kind of goes into the thing. What's the P do? Oh, I can fly now. You can fly, you can fly, you can, you can fly. You completely, like, avoid... All that mess. But yeah, um, you're particular about your I'm also hateful. Yeah, that's true. You have a very high standard. Ah! That doesn't count. Yeah. Um. But not this. But! You also are of the opinion that if you've ever been in the bottom, you don't deserve to win. Yes. Unless someone else has Unless been on the bottom. Unless everyone's been on the bottom. been on the bottom. If you've been on the bottom and the person you're up against hasn't been on the bottom, you lose. Yeah. So you should be happy because Aquaria was never on the bottom. Well, that's fine. I don't have to sell you on my point of view. I, I mean, know, but I d- still don't care. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it really doesn't have much to do with also, I hate the lip sync thing. You, yeah, you're not a lip sync for your life. I think you can, if you can do it, good. Uh, I don't think it should be a deciding factor if you stay. Because if you just do a terrible job or you're on the bottom a lot, four times in a row, in fact, maybe you shouldn't be top four. Because you obviously can't be top four. Because you fucking... Well, see, I see the lip syncing for your life aspect like this in cooking challenge shows usually what causes the elimination is a pressure test for like can you do what we're asking you to do under high pressure drag first and foremost is about entertaining people 
So if and a big chunk of that in drag clubs and in drag shows is being able to lip sync and sell a song and not necessarily do a bunch of backflips and shit, but just to like sell the emotions of the song or whatever yeah, that is. But if you can't do that in the challenge, doing it in a different moment because that's what you're better at should mean you can stay. Oh, I'm good at lip syncing, but I can't do anything else. But then what's the fucking point I'm of keeping them hard around? I'm impressed to think of episodes where someone did vastly better in a challenge and went home because of a lip sync, where it wasn't a case of like, oh, you did so poorly in this lip sync that you had to go home. You know? I guess. I don't know. Like, because with a lot of the lip syncs where I'm like, man, that person really could have gone a lot further. They went home because they didn't bother learning their words or they didn't. No, they didn't you should try. get knocked out because you didn't yeah. learn it. I'm just saying, like, if someone had done very well throughout the entire season and then boom, they mess up once. But someone's really good at lip syncing. They're not necessarily as good. That should not send them home. You're making the Katya should have stayed and Kennedy Davenport should have gone home argument. And I agree wholeheartedly. It's a bullshit reasoning for keeping anyone around. Yeah. Because if everyone in drag is meant to know how to do it, then it should just be understood that you're going to do that it. That just killed us entirely too many times. So on the next episode, actually, I'm going to just go ahead and do my last try. Go for your last try. Um, hopefully I won't fuck so it up. So you just don't see the, like, that it should be ranked as high. I don't personally like the fact that it's been the deciding factor in two finales in a row now. You know? I'm not a huge fan of that. I think that it should come down to, like, the season as a whole. But also, both of those finales, I've had the winner I wanted, so... I don't know. Uh, like I said, don't really care yeah, too much. Yeah, I, I know you don't. You have opinions, but you're also like, I'm not going to sit here and argue with you about it, because I don't give a shit. Well, in the end, I'm not necessarily the market demographic. No, you are a straight male. And uh, my opinion does not matter necessarily in this, this uh, contest. Wow, everyone, mark your calendars. Sunshine, you are fantastic. You are that wonderful intersectional feminist ally. What? A Caucasian middle class male I can heterosexual <laughs> who's capable of saying my opinion doesn't have to be the end all be all. That's <laughs> because it's not. I love that about you. Um, well, that's what the fuck are you doing? It's the end of the episode. Well, I'll read this text when we come back because someone doesn't pay attention to the time and we done got over. Like, comment, subscribe. There's a monkey on the screen. <laughs>